Welcome back. We are live in downtown Walla Walla at the 2024 Blood of Gods Merrymaking events. And uh, I have one of my heroes, mentors, uh, Doug Frost, Master Sommelier, Master of Wine. And what's your position at Echo Lands Winery here in Walla Walla? I'm kind of a co-owner. and Kind of founder. a co-owner. Okay, yeah. gosh darn it. Well, um, beautiful place on the hill there. And uh, you are pouring some wine today. What's going on? Well, I have a little pet gnat here. And I felt like I had to do a pet gnat because... I have been critical at times of natural wines that are, uh, what's that word, that suck. <laughs> and so I was like, let's make a natural wine that doesn't suck. And then we can, you know, sort of demonstrate because yeah. there are many good natural wines, but there are even more bad natural wines. We can demonstrate that, hey, make good natural wine and we'll all like it. Yeah, well, so it's the only quote unquote natural wine we make, but I felt like we had to make one. Pretty fun. What's the grape here? So this is Cabernet Franc, 100% Cabernet Franc from Seven Hills, uh, of all places. And uh, the, the idea behind it really is just like, as you would understand, you know, method ancestral. So essentially take wine that's fermenting and before it's done, throw it in a bottle and hope. Yeah, exactly. And then we disgorge. So that's to say we, at some point, about six months in, we rotate the bottles, try to get all the scummy little yeasty stuff down to the neck, freeze the neck solid. You know, you ah. know how it works, turn it up right. Blow that plug out of there and top it up. Out of the glass, huh? Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Now, but you, are you do, like doing it by hand or you've got a machine? Uh, actually, no. It's done by hand by Matt Austin of Grow Grain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he won't let me do it. He's uh, like, no, get away. You know, I'm allowed to put the bottles in a box. What's interesting, too, <laughs> about Pet Nat is that we never see that foil that used to hide the differences in champagne. That's very true. Yeah, That's so exactly you, it's, right. it, talk about transparency and value. Yeah. But what a treat. So, um, Echo Lance has been making wine. Wall Walla Walla since 18, 2018? was our first vintage, Excellent. Yeah. And you just, as I see as my neighbor, uh, you planted some vines. How many acres have you planted at that estate? We now have about 13 acres. 13 acres and a variety of grapes? So Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, Grenache Blanc. Grenache Blanc? No Grenache? Grenache is up next. Okay, right. Um, interesting. When you uh, have all of these varieties, is the world ready for Grenache Blanc? good question. <laughs> I think the world is just ready for more stuff, for more interesting stuff. I think that, you know, I, I certainly love Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Cab Sauve, Sauvignon Blanc, yada, yada, yada. I love all those. But I think the world is kind of going, yeah, what else? Yeah, what else? So we have Ver we have Vermentina going in. We have uh, certainly Sanso going in. As I mentioned, Grenache, Grenache Blanc has gone in. A Sirtico is planted it got beat up pretty bad by the January freeze, but it's still okay. Well, so, maybe you needed Calura. I know, it's true. <laughs> the little basket-shaped thing. That's that right. Cool. Interesting. Well, we have quite a unique um, uh, mesoclimate or microclimate there. And, of course, our soil is unique. Not unique to the valley, but certainly consistent in our area. And that's deep dust less. Yeah. It, have you had other wines of those types in that particular um, soil type? You know, um, it's been interesting to me because I was in Austria about three weeks ago, and and the the, the soil type, as yes, you described, they have less it, as well. Yeah, they have that loose, and it's it's where you know kind of famously that soil type prevails. But as as was made very apparent to me when I visited a bunch of different wineries there, they're all like, yeah, but your loss is different than our loss because the point of loss is not. The point of a loose is really its texture and size, yeah. but the the mother material over there is limestone and granite, uh. and our mother material is mostly basalt. So they're like, your loose has nothing to do with ours. And I was like, damn it, I came over here to learn, and I learned this is not the place to come to learn. <laughs> well, and I guess this loss is more, right? <laughs> <laughs> we need some t-shirts like that yeah. for, oh, our, yeah. for our upcoming uh, sub-ABA. Um, but you've got a, such a beautiful place. We had a great dinner there for uh, celebrating Walla Walla. And of course, you did some fun thing on Bastille Day. Holy smokes. Yeah. That, you were serving the pet net. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And your, your winery is open seven days a week? Six days a week. Six days so we a week. we take off Tuesdays. Oh, there we go. Like the rest of Walla Walla Valley. <laughs> what a treat. Tell us, how do we get more information about Echo Lands? Basically, echolandswinery.com works uh, the best. That's go right. there and you can you know find everything you want. You can find out what we what wines we make, what's for sale, and most importantly, I hope, come on up the hill. Come on up, come up the hill. 
beautiful place. And Echolands means to respond to the valley or echo what the land is doing. Absolutely. Yes, the, the, the wine should echo the grapes. The grapes should echo the land. Yeah, and uh, congratulations on having one of the top wine guys here. Brian Rudine is your new winemaker. Very exciting. And, of course, great to have you as a neighbor. My friend, Thank cheers, you, brother. Yeah, to the blood of God. Thank you.